feel like I'm in high school with this lanyard. Like, yeah, I'm going to college, bro. Shulax fam. Hi, guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke, and we're in Florida for a few days. I know you guys love the vlogs with my parents and them, specifically my mom. She has loads to update you guys on. She literally kept saying, she was like, I have to tell everybody about this. I have to tell everybody about this, about like her new skincare and everything. So we'll get to that. If you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. I'm Brooke. I live in New York City. I come down here and visit my parents sometimes at their place in Florida when they're down here. Honestly, a few weeks ago, they were like, hey, we're heading down for a few days. They didn't expect me to say, hey, can I come? These few days actually worked out for my schedule to come down here and I haven't been in a minute. Honestly, I just wanted to experience the sunshine. It's a little cloudy today, but also to spend time with my parents. I feel like I haven't been spending like the most direct one-on-one -on -one time with them recently. We've just been living busy lives. Let me just book a flight. Sure. Right now we're gonna go somewhere fun. Um, we're gonna go to Dutch Bros Coffee. Discovered this place yesterday. I mean, I've known about it from social media and stuff, but I really found it yesterday because I went to another coffee shop. They said they were out of ice. I said, we're in Florida, like I can't. They were like, we're only doing hot drinks. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Coffee near me. Dutch Bros came up, brought home a drink for my mom and I. We both got cold brews with like a little twist. Amazing, 10 out of 10. So now I'm on uh, drink duty for the whole family. So let's go. We listen to the radio around here. How about Sirius XM BPM? you know you know let's go so busy at this drive-thru they straight up have two lines like that's crazy and they have a whole menu of just energy drinks not my journey but cool drive is moving a lot faster than yesterday so it's good i got a golden eagle sugar-free with the soft top my dad got a vanilla protein latte my mom got a cold brew with the soft top yum you mean to tell me those aren't delicious looking oh my god very into it oh it is so creamy and delicious I love it. And the cups are just so fun. Let's go home. Hey. Guess who got her act together? I think we're going to the Millennium Mall, which is like my favorite mall in Orlando. And that's where we are. I keep some clothes here in the closet. And I guess I left this here probably from Thanksgiving. It's a Love Shack fancy dress. It's very comfortable. I got it last summer. Cute. The white sandals just so that I can try on outfits. There's one outfit specifically I need. I'm doing a panel on Wednesday, which is literally in two days in New York. And I don't really have an outfit for that. And I know I want to just be feeling my best. It's like public speaking. So I need an outfit for that. One thing. And then I want a good pair of like universal sneakers that I could dress up or down for like dinner, but then also bring with me for Italy. I'm thinking like I kind of want like the dad vibe new balances. So that's on my list. Charlotte Tilbury printed out this picture of me when I did the shoot with them <laughs> and they sent it to my apartment. And I was like, who wants this? And my parents were like, we'll take it. So I brought it here. <laughs> that was very sweet of them. So yeah, this is the dress. It's cute. I am definitely gonna bring it back to New York with me. I totally forgot that I have this here. It reminds me of something I would have worn in like high school, but I kind of love it. Hair's up. Just going for like a clean base for trying on. I do have pimple patches on too, because we're gonna try to clear up some hormonal acne before this event on Wednesday. I got a lot of work done today, so I feel really good about that. That is no good, this tan. I used Loving Tan right before I came here, and I feel like the actual tan itself looks good, but I might have missed a few parts or not have done the best job. I guess like there, that's probably the one spot that I like didn't do so good, but the rest of it I think looks pretty good. How's my back? Pretty good. All right, Prada, just shopping around. Let's just get inspo from here. It's already 7.15 at night. I cannot believe where the day has gone, but I guess I'm gonna check out Bloomingdale's really quick. I'm trying to find an outfit for today. I think I told you I have an event Wednesday. My mom's buying a pair of broad shoes for the Italy trip. <laughs> my favorite dress I have, my mom. We had a success. The store closes in three minutes, so we have to hurry. We got some good stuff today, all right? No, you got some good stuff. You got a pair of shoes. Why are you whispering? <laughs> this is a very exciting and full circle moment for me because I'm actually partnering with Spanx on this video. If you have followed me for a minute, you've probably heard me talk about Spanx. I don't shy away from talking about like underwear and bras and they have like the best underwear, the best bras, the best undergarments. They also just have such amazing clothes. Every time I'm wearing something from Spanx, I just get compliments. Probably because I just feel so good in the clothes, but also they're just so like intelligently made. Every single detail of the piece, it just makes sense. Whenever I share something from Spanx um, on here, on Instagram or something, everyone's always like, do you have a discount code? 
and today I do. You can use the code BROKEXBANX that will get you 10% off any purchase and that will also get you free shipping. So I'm actually wearing some of my Spanx pieces now. I'm gonna do like a little try on haul, but this is actually just like what I was wearing today. So I thought that this would be fun to show you guys kind of how I styled some of the Spanx pieces. And I will have everything linked down below if you want to shop. And I will uh, share with you guys like my sizing details because I feel like that helps sometimes. I feel like this is like the perfect transitional outfit going from the spring maybe to like a little bit warmer because you could like take off the jacket or something. But the bodysuit and these amazing flare jeans are Spanx. I love their jeans so much because they don't dig into you like other jeans do. They actually do have like an elastic waistband but you would never know because they still have like the belt loops and all of the normal like jean features without any of the like metal bits and things that like typically dig into you these are the flare jeans and i just i mean i have to say i just feel like they're so flattering while still being like comfortable and soft they don't have that typical like crunchiness of a jean but they look like a jean you know this look i feel like is giving mature chic 27 year old who has her life together because they do have like the elastic waistband I just like they are really like flexible with sizing I feel like if I like gain or lose be bad. like they're, they're flexible so I'm wearing a small in the jeans and I feel like they're the perfect fit on me and then this ribbed bodysuit is also Spanx and I got this in a size medium I really like them while still being like chic I'm wearing it with this little white heel and I feel so put together like this would be perfect I mean I wore it today for some meetings and whatnot, but also I feel like for like a little brunch with friends or something. Polished, put together, really, really great. Another thing I love about the Spanx jeans is that you can't, like the white, you're not like seeing my underwear. So that they're not like super see-through or anything. Um, they also have other really great washes of the jeans, but the white, I feel like this, it's so hard to find a good pair of white jeans. Whenever I wear this set or really anything from the Air Essentials collection, I'm always asked where it's from. It's Spanx, okay? Elevated sweats, that's what I want to call it. It's comfy, it's cozy like a sweatpant. It's not like fleece lined or anything though, so I feel like it's perfect once again for the transitional weather. And I just feel more elevated than like a traditional sweatsuit when I'm wearing this. So on top, I'm wearing the Air Essentials half zip. I have this in the uh, Heather Gray, which I really like. I mean, I have it in a bunch of other colors too. I also have the wide leg pants in a bunch of colors because I just find that they, you could wear like just the pant too with like a little crop top or like a bodysuit if you wanted to, but the set, I mean, you can't beat it, but still elevated, like still has her shit together, you know? I like a lot of times like you, you wear sweats out and you're like shopping around and you're like, oh, I feel like a slob. Not with these. I, w I don't even want to call them sweats. It's air essentials. It's different. I'm wearing a medium in the top and the bottom, and I feel like it, they both have a slightly oversized fit. The bottom's maybe a little bit more fitted. I feel like it's perfect. Love that. For those of you who prefer sweat shorts, they also have the air essentials in shorts. So these are the air essentials shorts, and this is the air essentials crew neck. I got both of these in a medium as well. I also really like the length on these shorts, I have to say. I feel like they're perfect. Like it's not booty short, but it's like appropriate, you know? And then this is just the crew neck. I like getting all the air essentials in one color because then you can like mix and match with the, within, you know, kind of create your own like little sets. Cause I just think that they look so good together. Elevated grout fit. I talk about Spanx sports bras a good amount because I think that they are just wonderful. They understand like how to fit on a real body, you know? They just came out with some new sports bras and now they have like different collections. So they have like the high impact, the medium impact, so this one is the high impact. Um, I got a 34D, which that's my bra says, <laughs> if you were wondering. I do love how adjustable this is. Like you can go kind of tighter in the band, you can go tighter in the top straps. I'm held in. So many of like the higher impact sports bras from these places, it looks like just a, a bra. Like it has almost like, like the cups and it just feels like that. This just to me looks just like a sleek, just normal sports bra, but like you wouldn't know that it's actually high support. I do love this. I'm gonna end off the try on haul in this top. This is the Air Essentials polo top. I'm ending off the segment in this because I wanna wear this now because it is comfy and I have it styled once again with the Spanx jeans and like a belt. So it looks way more put together, but this is so comfortable. I also got this in a medium. I really like the color of this. It's really cute. I am set on my Spanx essentials for spring into summer. I could also just link some of my other favorites. I love their regular bra. I could also just link some of my other Spanx favorites below. I know I've gotten a lot of you guys to try just the bra, which is amazing. 
the bralaluya. Like I said, just so full circle to be working with Spanx. I'm just so, so excited about this. So thank you so much. Use that code BrookeXBanks to shop. We'll get back to the vlog. Good morning. About the Florida flowers is they flower every day. What does that mean? Like watch, now you're leaving tomorrow, so you can't, but if you watch that, those flowers right there, tomorrow, new ones will bloom. It's like- What? Yes, it's absurd. Constantly, constant it's blooming, It's so nice daily. back here, this is, people wanted a full house tour. Are you ready to give a full house tour, you think, or are there still finishing touches on the house, so you think it's pretty much pretty, done? It's closed, I mean, my closet's not done. Oh yeah, but this, I mean, you guys know they, did amazing work back here. This is turf, it's all like caged in so there's no bugs or anything. Literally is the pool paradise. I just love it here so much. The sound yeah, it's so peaceful. We've you got- can make it louder, like- Oh, nice. My parents really have the best taste when it comes to like home, whatever. I'm, I live in this damn sweatshirt when I'm here and I look like the biggest Disney adult, but it's like my sweatshirt here, so it's the funniest thing. Yeah, well that's why you could go into my room and find- like, Oh, that's so nice of you, thank you. Of course. It, All right, I, I gotta go take a shower this night. Day, bro. A big day. I know we have a big day. My mom and I are filming a OG like car video. Actually, I, I'm gonna take your zip up sweatshirt now because I'm gonna get ready in it if that's okay. Sure. We're getting ready to film this video with my mom. It'll be up soon. Um, I guess after this one, put my hair up because it's so dirty. I'm, like struggling with the bun. At least the actual like slick back is pretty, pretty secure. So now let's move on to makeup. This lighting is just. Tough. I'm having a really nice time in Florida. I feel like I'm sleeping a lot, which is really nice. I feel like I have not been sleeping. My aura ring basically told me that I'm like dead. I'll put a screenshot here of what it told me a few days ago. It was like, girl, you are not well. I'm just like not the best at like monitoring my stress levels because I'm like, oh, I don't really work a job that's like too highly stressful. Like what stress could I endure in my life? But like you could still endure stress even if it's not like coming from work related things or I don't know, I just feel like I have a lot going on and I have a lot of like pressure on me right now with things and I totally did this all to myself. This is all um, my, <laughs> oh, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions, but I just needed like a few days of just family time and to catch up on sleep if I'm being completely honest because I know when I go back I have, and it's not to say like I don't have like chill days or whatever, but I just know that the next like few weeks are kind of going to be go 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 once again consequences of my own actions you know i i control my own journey here so that's all on me but i feel like i'm like zero or a hundred like i have no concept of like when i'm signing up for too much or like when i'm like doing too much for myself i don't know hopefully things chill out it's just nice to have a change of scenery for a little bit be somewhere warm see some sunshine and just a reminder that like you know everything will be okay i'm gonna get ready i feel like i've shown you guys my makeup routine enough recently Ooh, ten. Back in New York, I'm gonna vlog a little bit into today. I woke up so early, so I feel like just off because I've been up since five, but I am in this cute pair of Spanx shorts, so very grateful to them for working with me on this video. You guys saw that haul, so love them. I'm watching a Michelle Choi video while I catch up on emails. I actually have Kat coming over to do my makeup. She hasn't done my makeup since when? Since our last Gals on the Go show. I haven't really had an occasion to get my makeup done, if I'm being completely honest, but tonight I feel like is as good of an occasion as any. I'm doing a panel tonight with this company called Creator Economy here in New York City. So it's like an event where people in the industry, other creators are invited and I am essentially like being interviewed by the founder of the company and talking about like my content journey and like, you know, advice for creators, how I think brands could work better with creators. It's kind of just like an open, open dialogue for like 45 minutes to an hour and then there's some like networking before and after. I wanted to get my makeup done, especially cause my skin's looking pretty rough right now. I just got over having my period. It's just, it's a tough time for me. I'm going through it. I'm also stressed. So I think that's definitely, definitely adding to the fuel to the fire. I rented this outfit from Fashion Pass. It's actually from Good American and these shorts came new. I think I'm gonna wear this Uniqlo like little bra top underneath. You can't really see the bra when it's underneath, but it's this really pretty blue color, like oversized blazer, short, and then like a heel. It doesn't seem like the the dress code is like, well, there is no dress code, but it doesn't seem like the pe what people wear to these sort of things are like very businessy, but like since I'm going to be one of the panelists, I wanna like be put together, but not 
I don't want to, I'm not going to show up in like slacks. Like I need, you know, modern business. <laughs> I literally woke up at like five to travel home. So what a day that was. Um, but we made it. It really is not so bad. Like fly in and out of Orlando. It's nice. I'm happy I got to see my family. And now I have a, not so busy, but like, you know, rest of the work week. But we're here. Looks like a tornado went off in this room, but that's like a later problem. I, I can't do this right now. These shorts are the comfiest thing. They're the Air Essentials. I think I showed them in the hall, but I've been wearing this collection. I wore it on the plane today, like the full sweatsuit, but it, you know, it's like dirty post plane. So I like ripped that off, took a shower, but changed right back into these. <laughs> we are cleaning up. Miss Cat's here. Hi. Hi. Wait, guys, we just did this gorgeous. I feel so, oh my gosh, it just feels so good to get my makeup done. I just forget. It's the best. You crush it. Aww. Thank you so much. Aww, the best canvas. Aww. Use these amazing facial radiance pads on me and I just feel like my skin is just glowing. They're the glowing. best before makeup. Oh my gosh, thank you. And I feel so confident getting up there and doing my thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. We were listening to the new Taylor Swift. I did already listen. I feel like you need to listen to it with the lyrics on the screen to get the full effect. To really process. Agreed. Are you on that side of TikTok now too, where it's like the meanings behind yeah. each song? Yes. I love, I love it. I'm it's, so interested. Me too. The what, like the it would be like the interview things. of Travis Kelsey juxtaposed with the lyrics. Old interviews of Matt yeah. with the typewriter. Yes. <gasps> I'm like such a soft Swifty though. Like I'm not even like a, yeah. So I don't want to claim. We listen. We don't make the videos. You're. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. All right, and now my hair is done and I'm ready. I'm like struggling with the top to wear with this outfit, but I think I think this is gonna work. I've been wearing it a lot. This is like a J. Crew like mock neck, because this way if I do need to take it off, I can just wear this and like be still put together. Because I feel like if I do t-shirt, it's like a little too casual, but this still looks like polished and put together. And the set is rented from Fashion Pass, but it is a uh, good American. Little blazer and shorts, so. Cute. I wanted something that had a little color to it for this. And I'm wearing these white heels from Macy's. They seem to be really comfortable so far. I think they're like Lauren, Ralph Lauren. I'll keep you guys updated. I've been wearing them just around my apartment, nothing crazy, but. I actually used Glam Squad to get a blowout just because I knew I would be pressed for time today with like traveling back and having this event. And I am very happy with it. They just like, I washed my hair and they came and gave me a blowout. Kat did my makeup like you saw and I feel really good. I'm excited. We're gonna head over there. See what's up. I'm nervous, but like, I feel like I'll calm down. I feel like I'm nervous right now, but it's just because I haven't done something like this in a really long time. It's like a panel type thing, but I'm the only like panelist. So I feel like there's more pressure. I haven't ever done something like this, but it's like a one-on-one -on -one public interview almost. Anyways, I haven't done a public like 1v1 interview like this, I guess. Like, with the exception of obviously Danielle and I in our podcast live shows, but that's not really like an interview. That's like a show and it's different and and, and she's my best friend. So like we're comfortable with each other. I changed, so bear with me. Sorry, this is so chaotic. So I just did like a cream t-shirt instead. And then I have this Hermes belt that simply does not fit, but I made it work with fashion tape. So if I have to pee, I'm screwed, can't pee. But otherwise I feel like it's, it's a whole vibe. Not bad for pulled together today, so. Don't look in there, that's a war zone, so. Let's head out. And then kind of came this new wave of YouTube of like unique fashion. Like people like Juicy Star 07, mm -hmm. if you know, you know, like Michelle Fawn, editing with iMovie, which is honestly so great. Yeah. I like the quote, it's like, it's embarrassing until you're successful, and I truly do resonate with that. My podcast live show, I'm like, oh wow, wait, that actually amounted to something. I think growing up, I was like, oh, well, certainly I won't be doing YouTube when I'm like 40, but not like, I'll be doing YouTube till the grave. Like, you'll have to hide the camera away from me. Like, 